This tutorial lets build a simple RSA signed JWT token generator and of course generate some tokens. The link to the source code is in the video description. If you have any ideas on how to improve the code or just have any questions, please write them in the comments. And yeah, hit the like button. The main function of our playground application can look like this. We have an instance of the JWT generator and a set of the claims we want to attach to our tokens. The claims defined over here are user specific and they describe to whom the token was issued. This is mainly set in the sub and the email claims. And then we pass the set of the claims to the generator, generate JWT method and magic happens. Of course, the most important part is in the JWT generator class. To be able to generate JWT token and sign it with the RSA algorithm, you have to have a key pair. In this example, to make it simple, we do not store the keeper, we just generate a new keeper on every initialization of the JWT generator. Fast, convenient, and for this example, it's just enough. Will work great for any kind of the tests with the JWTs. However, if you do want to generate a real JWT and use it on the production environment, you would have to store the keeper somewhere locally and load it from the file on every initialization of the generator. However, we will not be covering this in this example. In this example, we just assume that on every initialization we have a new keeper because we are showing and learning how to generate the JWT, know how to load a keeper from file. This is why our keeper will be stored as the private variable on the class and initialized in the constructor of the JWT WT generator. Like I said, if you want to persist the keeper, you have to write your own method to load it from file or any kind of the external source. The most important part of the whole code is the generate JWT method. It accepts one parameter, which is the payload of the token, and is the list of the claims defined in our application. The custom claims that we're gonna generate for the user. Our token will be a combination of user custom claims and some generic claims like for example who issued the token and for how long the token is valid. The JWT generator will handle those generic claims for us. We will use the JWT builder class to generate first the generic claims which will be the issuer, the information who issued the token the JTI claim, which is the unique identifier of the token, when the token expires, in this case five minutes into the future, and to when the token was issued, which is now. Then we will extend the generic token generated before with the custom claims passed as the function arguments. And finally, use the sign method with the keeper public and private key that we generated on the startup of the initialization of the method to sign the token. Important, the sign method returns string and only after signing our token is, well, exactly what we wanted, a string. Now let's run the code and see if the token we just generated is the valid one. Token generated. Let's copy it and paste in the JWT IO web page to check if it's valid or not. As you can see, yeah, it is a valid JWT token with the claims we set previously, both the custom user specific claims, like for example, sub and the generic ones like the ISS expiration date and the unique token ID. As you can see, the JWT generation with Java is a simple thing if you only have the proper tools and know how to use it. If you would like to know how to validate a JWT token, here is the video for you. I'm Paweł Spychalski, thank you very much for watching and happy coding!